Nice. Okay. The first card that comes up in your spread is the Two of Pentacles. So my gosh, this is all about juggling projects. This is about juggling your money. Um, it feels like to me that you all have all kinds of prospects, projects, a lot in the pipeline. So if you are one that, and I say pipeline, so some of you that are in sales or marketing or just really putting yourself out there, promoting yourself, this is what it feels like to me. A lot going on at the beginning of October. <laughs> Expansion, growth. Oh my gosh, how am I going to do all this? You can do it. He has this earth-oriented barn behind him. He has one foot on the ground. The other one is a little bit off the ground, but you are grounded. Stay grounded, drink water. Go outside when you need to. Pay attention to the trees, the birds, animals. Hug your dog, your cat. And you, you'll you be fine. There's a nice green plant here. There's clouds in the background. So, yeah, you do have a lot going on. Let's just face it, you do. And, of course, you know, Jim and I, the twins, you're, you're in conversation with or uh, talking with people about what you want to happen, about how you, the things, how they, how you want to see things go your ideas, your inspiration towards success, towards prosperity, towards your money, co-workers, co-creators. Yep, a lot going on, juggling. Okay, that works. The next card I love, I love, I love. This is called the Battle Wagon. In this deck, it's the same as the... Um, um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> the the bat the wagon going forward in traditional tarot. So he's he has the two the horses are white and I've always liked that about this card. The chariot. Sorry, it, it, I knew it would come to me and I apologize for it not coming right off the bat. But it's helpful to point out. I know that you all can see that they're the same type of card, but this is the same as the chariot card in traditional tarot. Like I said, I love the white horses in this because to me that represents moving past your battles, moving into the light, seeing things in a higher vibration. And when I say that, um, it's feeling like letting go of the small stuff, letting go of um, the, the everyday annoyances that get on your nerves. In other words, someone who... You may know someone, I, this is just a for instance, that has a certain way of saying a phrase, and they say it on almost an everyday basis, but it really gets on your nerves, or the way they talk, or the way they laugh. I don't know why it's coming out of this card, because really this card is about moving on into new light, but I feel like even in the smallest of ways, so the smallest of ways and also the biggest of ways, my friends, you guys are, you have some momentum going. Lots of momentum towards your work. Your, yep, 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 your work. And because it comes right next to a pentacle card, which is all about your money. And then on the other side is a wand card, and this is your creative expression. So in the middle is this chariot card. So I'm feeling like, you know, you're saying, okay, all right, I'm taking off. I have plenty to do. New horizons, new hope, new uh, creative ideas that, that you're going to go with. Some of you may be actually moving your offices. You may be moving your home. Uh, but you're expanding what I'm feeling is expansion and growth. And I love this. It's, it's like a bird up here. It looks like a butterfly. But it's a winged bird. If you can see the white wings coming out. So this guy is moving fast. He's ready for action. And I feel like that's you. And I feel like even if you aren't ready, the <laughs> that the action is there for you. All right, 
Okay, Gemini, the next card that comes up is the Seven of Wands. I feel like this card has come up for you guys recently. I, I could be wrong, but the Seven of Wands is about your ideas and protecting your ideas and being and standing up for your ideas. Hmm. So again, some of you are like, yeah, no, uh uh. This is this is the way I want to see it go. Um I'm seeing the color orange, so creative expression. You're very proud of the experience, your experiences that you've done in life work experience, uh, and I'm, I am talking mostly about work right now because the wands are about our creative expression, what we put out in the world, our message. I see some of you too on the um, online, doing some online communications, whether it's live streaming, it could be YouTube, but it feels like maybe an online course. I feel like you know exactly what you're doing. She's on the stool, as you can see, and she has the fire in the fireplace, the neat room with the bird watching. And he's very curious about what she's <laughs> what she's doing here. She's taking down the third one. So I'm going to go with that today because three in numerology represents hope, optimism, and creative expression. Okay, so this card for me, you guys, Gemini, feels like standing up for your creative expression. Because, of course, I saw the color orange, too. And, um, yeah. Interesting. Okay, so the last card of your four-card spread, and I will pull up a few clarification cards to see why these cards are coming up. But the fourth card of the spread is the Knight of Chalices. So this feels a little bit different situation than the three here and in fact it was sitting by itself for a while so the knight of chalices could be a water sign and this could be a cancer a scorpio or a pisces man or woman sun moon or rising or someone that has the aspects of a nurturing person and a intuitive person very much owns their feelings uh, can sometimes, and just sometimes, be over emotional. You know. Also, this could be, this could be your moon arising sign. And maybe you're, you're putting your heart out there. You're putting, uh, if it has to do with your work, you're putting your heart into it. If it has to do with love or lover, then you're offering up, or someone is offering up to you. It's it's it has its back to this seven of wands, so it feels like this is a whole different perception or con or concept of the month. This is about your feelings, about your love. There's the wreath here and the stones of enlightenment. So this could be you feeling like, okay, I'm in love, or I love what I'm doing, or this could be someone that is offering emotional support to you. This also could be someone who is uh, passed on, deceased on the other side, that you feel their comfort, because it really is, it feels separate than these three, um, but that you feel them around you. And you're feeling the loving support. So it could be on the physical side that this is a love relationship or, or on the other side, that someone that loves you and supports you. Or it could be too, and I love how this, this shiny cup here, I'm really focused on that right now and how it's on the side parallel or vertical to this wreath of gateway. So he's really, ex oh, and he has a wreath on his head. Looky there. Um... Yeah. So this is really extending your heart or your love, relationships, emotions being extended. There's also cups over here on this stone. That's cool. So there's more there's more about opening your heart space. I was talking about that in the beginning of the 
of the uh, reading or the, the spread about Venus and coming from our heart and being true to who we are in relationships and with others. And I really feel that's indicative of this. Okay, so I'm going to pull a couple of clarification, clarification cards. This is with the Hansen deck. Wow. I said a couple, but I pulled three. It felt right for me for you guys. Three. <laughs> okay, so the first one, Shay, you have been working hard. I mean, no kidding, right? Eight of Pentacles. But really putting precisely what you want into your work. You've been working hard on this. And then the King of Pentacles comes up. So you might be feeling like you have your work in control. Uh, this king is a very giving, generous man. This could be an earth sign. This could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that's close to you. But this person maybe have given you advice, or they're just standing there to support you and guide you. And then the sun card comes up. Well, I mean, how much optimism and hope is that? The big smiley sun with the child and the sunflowers on a white horse. So here we have white horses again in a diff completely different deck. This is the Hanson Roberts deck. So yeah, you guys have been working hard. You have a earth sign, male or female, around you that's supporting you. And you are wanting to reach total optimism, truth, happiness. You're vulnerable. You're open. And you're wanting success and joy. I love this card. Okay. All right, my friends, Jim and I am going to add these up numerologically for you. I have the two, seven is nine, and seven is 16. 17, one and seven is eight. Eight in numerology is all about, well, it's a couple things actually, but all about bridging the spiritual and the material together. So with that, there's strength right? There's pulling down your ideas, manifesting those from, say, your, your higher self or your seventh chakra where spiritual wisdom comes in and pulling them down into the ground to manifest your ideas. And the number eight on its side, of course, is infinity. So knowing this, you could, knowing that you can do this in infinity and on, I don't know <laughs> what is that movie, Infinity and On? Or um, there's something with that saying. There's some movie with that saying in there. But it feels like the eight is your strength this month. Eight is holding you up. It's your personal power. Your manifestation number for the month. So any of you all that are into numbers and symbols, watch for the number eight. Or if you were born on the 8th, or if your life path in numerology is an 8, or if you see the infinity sign, just, you know, might be fun to watch out for, or 888. Eight, eight, eight. 